And with vaccination rates rising and case counts falling, the governor chose to update the mask mandate on Sunday. So you don't need a mask indoors if 80% of the people you are with are vaccinated. That could change the way we do business really just about everywhere. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke to business owners who say the change may end up being more hassle than help. Wearing a mask has become a part of daily life. But now, because of an amendment to the state's mask order, people could soon go maskless in your favorite gyms, restaurants, and stores. For Chad Yedka, owner of Bigsby's Folly, it's a step in the right direction. And I think it provides some additional encouragement for those people that are not vaccinated to go ahead and take the plunge. The governor's amendment allows businesses to let guests not wear masks indoors as long as 80% of those people can show proof of vaccination. While it may bring us closer to normal, it puts the responsibility on the business owner. For us, it's just going to, um, it places another administrative burden on our service providers and for an uncertain benefit. People can show their vaccination card they were given when they were vaccinated, a photo of their card on their phone, or their immunization records. Bigsby's Folly also has space for private events. On that side of the business, they're talking about putting the burden of proof on the organizers, making sure everything is in order before people arrive. And we will give our people that chose to choose, choose to do events with us the opportunity to do so. Yeah. All right, For Marcy Donovan at Tula Hot Yoga Denver, the change isn't going to have a great impact. In places like this, distance requirements are impacting their businesses more than anything else. What we need for our business is to be able to put more people in the room. Right now at the six foot spacing, we're allowed to be at 100% capacity. My maximum capacity in the room was 38 to 40 um, pre-COVID and now I'm stuck at nine clients per class. Donovan also says not everyone is comfortable ditching their masks either, which is why for now, they'll stick to business as usual. As business owners decide how to move forward with these requirements, it's probably not the worst idea to always have your vaccine proof in your pocket. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.